welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Dara Green. Joining me this week are Miles Jupp, Ellie Taylor and Loiso Gola, Josh Whittacombe, Hugh Dennis and Milton Jones. Every week there's kind of a little joke I do with the studio audience here where I say, oh, don't worry, you'll never be a camera pointed at you over the course of the show. When do we ever show the audience on Mock the Week? Only when we meet Andy Murray and none of you are Andy Murray. Do you remember that joke from earlier on? Well, tonight, <laughs> one of you is Andy Murray. Ladies and gentlemen, in the audience tonight, Wimbledon champion, Andy Murray! <laughs> and thank you very much for joining me. Congratulations. How are you? Well? Yeah, good. How are you doing? Very, very well. Very, Imagine very well. Imagine if he'd gone, no, I'm shit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to ask Andy a question? You are? Uh, yes, I believe you are. You kept looking at notes between the... Were you slowly working your way through the Chilcot report? <laughs> <laughs> it's 2.6 million words! You've I've got, got to get through it at some point. I've got a question as well. This is a bizarre question. How many bananas do you eat during a game? Because you... Because they eat bananas, right? Yeah, they do. They do. Well, in fact, well, obviously, you're turning to me here. Well, yes. Uh, as an elite athlete, I often eat bananas. Uh, and, uh, and chocolate bars. Uh, and it's delicious. Sorry, yes. How many would you get to? Is that still a thing? Yeah, well, like one. <laughs> it depends. Does it depend on the length of the match? Because during the Tsongas match, that's four or five bananas. That's a four or five banana game right there. You know what I mean? Well, the, uh, for you, it might be, but one... one right, for right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, yeah, if we were talking about chip, that might hurt, but bananas sound like, oh, I'll be fine for day. Uh, <laughs> I, I have one. What is, uh, what is the most shocking thing you've done under the towel? <laughs> <laughs> when you threw the tennis racket into the crowd, it's a gamble, wasn't it? <laughs> Did you? Did you? Did you overarm it? Because that would be yeah, even. No, 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 no. Because no, no. I've got tickets to see the javelin at Rio 2016. <laughs> I'm absolutely shitting myself. <laughs> so, yeah, yes, the, now that we've done our informal press conference, does that <laughs> <laughs> We start with a round call. If this is the answer, what is the question? On the board are six categories. By the way, welcome all the way from South Africa, Loiso. It's a pleasure to have you here, Loiso. Thank you. Welcome. Which category would you like? Um, home news. Home news it is. The category is home news. The answer is 12 days. What is the question? Um, how long is Andy Murray going to party after his one Wimbledon? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to do it so. Not the correct answer to this situation. Is the question, if I say the phrase, Miles Jupp and Daro Breen riding a camel naked, <laughs> how long until that image leaves your mind? <laughs> and I found out the hard way. <laughs> is it how long ago did Andy Murray put laxatives into Djokovic's breakfast? <laughs> Suspiciously true. Uh, <laughs> is it how long does it take John Chilcott to write a text message? <laughs> <laughs> so how long is the average journey from London to Brighton currently on Southern Rail? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, what is the name of the Craig David song which ends with a verse about him being red raw? <laughs> I can't get out of my head now. Is it how long does it take to defrost Ivan Lendl? <laughs> how much longer was my suitcase's holiday than mine? <laughs> Is it how old are French people when they lose their tails? No, it's the no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> that's not the answer. It, how much longer will the Labour Party last? <laughs> well, that's very ambitious for the Labour Party. <laughs> Is it... How long, traditionally, does it take to upstage a partridge in a pear tree? <laughs> Uh, 
And you have the answer in this one. 12 days, please. How long was the Tory leadership campaign? Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, the question I was looking for was how long did the Conservative leadership contest last? This is the news that after just 12 days, the Tory party leadership race is over. Andrea Leadsom dramatically withdrew, paving the way for Theresa May to become Prime Minister. Did you follow the dramatic leadership race? Oh, yes. Oh, it's yeah. exciting, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the, it was strange. This, this candidate appeared from nowhere, from almost nowhere, and has yeah. disappeared again almost as quickly with history. History will long recall the name Angela Lansbury. Uh, <laughs> There she is there, <laughs> writing some murder like she does before she runs for things. Why was Angela Lansbury such a controversial figure, though? Because she was actually Grayson Perry. <laughs> <laughs> she thought she would be a better Prime Minister than Theresa May because she had children. And effectively, the only people with children would care about the future of the world. And that people who didn't have children, like Jesus, for example, <laughs> would be thinking, as soon as I'm gone, that's it. I'm not... <laughs> Childless woman, I would like to say that I think she actually has a point because I can't give a shit, mate. Um, <laughs> as a childless woman, I just wake up at like 11 a.m. I just do some fracking. <laughs> <laughs> then I go for some like a long lunch, have a bottle of wine. Do I recycle it? Do I heck? <laughs> and then just sort of go home and try and devalue the pound and then repeat. <laughs> That's it. Do we know that she definitely has children, or is it just another lie? <laughs> Um, is it a British thing for people to just come out of their front step to tell you things and then leave <laughs> after? It's not even her house. It's not even her house. No. What, she was burgling that house. <laughs> um, and then the police interrupted and she decided that was probably a point to drop out of the race. <laughs> The, uh, how, by the way, welcome to the country. And how are you finding it over here? Um, nobody told me that you guys have foxes just running the streets. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I saw a fox for the first time and I was uh, alarmed. And everyone was casual about it. And I, because I was like, that is not a dog. <laughs> I said, I'm from Africa. You guys assume we have animals walking around. I haven't seen a fox in 10 years. And the last time I saw a fox, it was at a zoo. <laughs> And also, you lied and you said it was summer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Oh, Welcome. Uh, I was intrigued by the fact that Theresa May ran a campaign, a successful campaign to be, be, become Prime Minister, by doing and saying nothing mm. for about six weeks and just watching everyone else die. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was like... It was, the one that we've learned is how Theresa May plays Call of Duty. <laughs> which is <laughs> online, Theresa just finds a place to hide, <laughs> holds up with the shotgun, lets the killing commence, uh, uh, pops out lurking, pam, 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 gone, back in again. Killing spree. <laughs> My big worry with Theresa May is that she might smile and it'll be winter forever. <laughs> about Theresa May is obviously that hardly anyone has voted for her. Like, I think it's 165 MPs have got her into power. Yeah. I think there are more members of the So Solid crew than have voted her into power. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't elected, were you, to this position? I wasn't. And yet, I, year wasn't. Year <laughs> I, I stole it in a bloody coup. Yeah. Yeah. And, and would do it again, year. my friend. Yeah. <laughs> People have disappeared from the show, Miles, and would again, for raising those exact kind of questions. Well, I'm just... <laughs> Saying, Where's no, Ricky no, now? No. Where's Russell not, now? Not, Gone. You will be dragged through the streets, <laughs> Dara. You will be dragged through the streets like Gaddafi. They were... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then they'll be laughing. Oh, yeah. There are five regulars on the show. How many regulars now? Just poor weak Hugh. <laughs> uh, <that's it. laughs> poor weak Hugh, who I own. <laughs> He will always give the correct answer when I ask him to. Won't you, Hugh? Won't you, Hugh? Your shoes are almost polished. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> you know what's right for him. Uh, in other news... <laughs> I think you're terrific on the mega bus, sir. Good <laughs> 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 to know if you're being sarcastic here, oh. Hugh. And there goes the final regular. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. <laughs> uh, moving on, what long way report has finally published this week? Chilcott. The Chilcott mm. Report. Yeah. It's available on Amazon, all 12 books. People who like this report also liked. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? How, How many, many words, words is it? It's 2.6 million words. Do you know who I feel sorry for is the bloke who's got to read the audio book. <laughs> 
It's always Stephen Fry. Yeah. He'll be yeah. doing all the voices. Oh. And they found new weapons. <laughs> <in this. laughs> the, uh, yes, but how then? How then, by contrast, will David Cameron be remembered? He'll be remembered as a man who could book a removal van within two days. <laughs> It's impossible, no isn't it? How do you do it's that? It's brutal, but brutal, that stuff. Somewhere, somewhere else in Britain, there is someone going, what do you mean you can't come this morning? <laughs> and, and <laughs> months three months ago, <laughs> the date was clearly in the contract. <laughs> we reserved the parking, which was difficult enough to do. Where are your men? <laughs> How was David Cameron referenced by our guest tonight? Orally. Yes. <laughs> He, he mentioned him. He mentioned him. Using he mentioned his him. Yes. In what way? Though? In what way? He did a kind of shout out to him when he was doing. He said, like, "David Cameron's yeah. here." During when he just won Wimbledon, and then everyone booed. Which is weird because the press really picked up on the fact that everyone booed him. I'm like, what? Well, leaders always get booed. The only time a leader gets cheered is either if you live in love, actually, or North Korea. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so why does the world come to you that a Conservative Prime Minister would get booed at Wimbledon? <laughs> <laughs> What has become the must-see attraction for Chinese tourists in the UK? <laughs> Is it like there's this weird village in... Oh, are you all right? I'm... Are you a bit of a cough? Have I'm you followed them off? In there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, I'll ask the question again, shall I? Yes, rather than dying of pleurisy there. <laughs> uh, what has become... God, I hope I don't die. It'll be awful. Uh, if you don't die in the next while and you go, oh, I know, we never asked. Uh, <laughs> oh, 2016, another great gone. <laughs> See, weirdly, it's like you're mocking well, me, and he's not even died. Well, he's dead. Like, well, he's no David yeah. Bowie. <laughs> the, only, the only thing I'm thinking is, then I will have won. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I give that our points go to Loiso, Ellie and Mara. Now we play a round called Netflix and Chilcot. This game <laughs> involves Luiso and Milton. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched the Wheel of News, and wherever it chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's have the first topic, please. The first subject is politics. politics Who uh... shall come in on politics? Luiso. So you guys are all um, worried about your prime ministers and that kind of stuff. I, I'd say calm down. <laughs> because I'm from South Africa and the guy who's the head of state now was facing 763 charges before he became the president. <laughs> that, that's a lot of crime. You have to break the law every day for two years. <laughs> Because you guys are, I mean, we had a great president, our first democratically elected president, uh, President Nelson Mandela. And I had the opportunity to meet Nelson Mandela. He came up to me. I was, I was a young lad. I think I was about uh, 12 and stuff. And he came up to me and said, oh, uh, uh, young man, uh, would you like me to tell you a joke? I said, yeah, go ahead. It's your country. Uh, knock, knock. I said, who's there? Who else speaks like this? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lee Yuso. That leaves us with Milton. Let's see what you've been got. Let's spin the wheel. And it's jobs. Milton. <laughs> Have you noticed that if you Google the phrase lost medieval servant boy... <laughs> It says this page cannot be found. <laughs> Some of you are going to be doing that tomorrow. <laughs> I think if I was opening a Pizza Express, I'd open it next to a Vision Express, so we got some of their customers by mistake. <laughs> If I'd unlimited money, I'd hire two private investigators and get them to follow each other. <laughs> Do you ever get that thing where you think someone's probably definitely wearing a wig and you think there's a... <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a lazy writer, according to my children, QWERTY and F12. <laughs> PE 
teacher, that's easy, isn't it? <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> I teach running. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I teach swimming. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> and a tiny, tiny little bit of geography. <laughs> Jog. Our next item is called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topical image and ask them to tell me what's happening. So, what's going on here? Is it Murray showing Tim Henman how bath time is different? <laughs> <laughs> is... Andy Murray going to be cryogenically frozen and then brought back when Novak Djokovic has retired? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy! Ooh, I, I know what it is. Andy's from Scotland. They don't get too much sun over there. He's enjoying the reflection of the trophy. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the picture he's put on eBay. <laughs> He looks like a centaur. He looks... <laughs> he looks, he's like, his, like his legs bend backwards in that bar. <laughs> that must be why he covers the court so quickly. <laughs> if his legs... <laughs> you can never love me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> he always plays on centaur court. Oh! Oh. Yeah, bravo. Bravo. <laughs> okay. That trophy, you could fit your head inside. <laughs> Have you toyed with putting your head in the trophy and playing Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I haven't, actually, no. <laughs> when you get home, you are going to have the time of your life. <laughs> have, you, have you put the baby in the trophy? Have you put the baby in the trophy? <laughs> you surely put the baby in the trophy. <laughs> she, she doesn't fit. Oh, we, we, we tried, but... That's I'm delighted to hear it. Of course you had it. I, I have a difficult... Congratulations, by the way, Mr. <laughs> this, that's what you say before you dig into someone. <laughs> I have difficulty appreciating tennis because every point and every set of, and everything you do in tennis is in silence and absolute concentration. Do right? you know how many goals uh, Jamie Vardy would score if people just shut up before he kicked the ball? <laughs> No. Yes. I, no. I, I feel you. I feel you've not been watching Andy, who can too has a who has a distinctive, distinctive uh, monologue running. This is not a man who hides his emotions. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is going so badly. Uh, <laughs> what he does is he invites people. But that seems to have turned. Yes, it's turned. Not come badly again. <laughs> 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 Jesus, it must be exhausting, began to work. Uh, so, those people in your box that you've invited, and then you just shout at them. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? Unlucky, but you're about to get a taste of your own medicine. You've got it! No, I'm not. <laughs> I'd love you to come on. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why did you make me do this, Mum? <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't about Sorry. you. That was just my own problem. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a pineapple on top of the trophy? Is it a pineapple? Is it a pineapple on top it's, of the trophy? Yeah, it's a pineapple, yeah. Mm. Is it because you meant to fit it with lilt? <laughs> <laughs> Off the baby, you know. <laughs> we keep presuming that they just give you this thing. Presuming the thing is now back in a safe somewhere. Do you get to have it for any period of time? Th th that was the last time I saw it, actually. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is you get, it? You get like. Uh... Did, you, did you turn away and then come back and walk the trophy? Because this may not be the place to tell them. They, uh... We've told you the trophy has got a no nudity rule. We are taking that away from you. <laughs> this trophy has not seen a penis in 127 years. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> they, took, they took the trophy away. You don't, do they give you a replica of it? Yeah, a small one, yeah. Can you fit your head in that one? <laughs> what can you fit in that one? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, cut the mic out. You need to do it. 
<laughs> Does anyone wish to ask a further question? Sorry, we're the last good day. What so, are you meant to be answering? Are you supposed to actually go, what's going on here? I oh, think yeah. we've blown the gap. We know what's going on here. <laughs> right. so anyway. What's going on here is we're offending the only person that's done anything good in Britain this year. <laughs> this <laughs> that is very true. Yes, this is a picture of Andy Murray after winning his second Wimbledon title, making the first British man to win multiple Wimbledon singles titles since Fred Perry in 1935. Did you watch the match? Of course I watched it. He's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how many tells did you steal this year? How many tells did you... Did you like, I mean, cos it was a thing... Yeah. Like, about like, won a match, I steal, yeah. yeah. That's fair enough, isn't yeah. it? You know, cos it's weird. It's like, people came to all the players and said, uh, the, like, the very, you know, the part of the, the towels are going missing. And every player, yours, yourself, actually, it was uh, Serena, um, I've forgotten to do with players that all went, yeah, yeah we, see the, we see the towel, that's what we do. Like, what, what are you going to do, give you back the towel back? They don't come in and go, yeah, I'll give you the towel back. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, Sent to a local school, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to like Roger Federer, because he used to be called Roger Feder. But then he met another Roger Feder, but he was determined to be Federer. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, it's... That's a good joke, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> get the sense, you, Lisa, you've finally begun to get why Milton is here. <laughs> 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 Who cracked a rare smile after uh, Andy's victory? It was Ivan Lendl, wasn't it? It was Ivan Lendl, yes. A man who makes Mr Spot look like Graham Norton. <laughs> <laughs> it must be awful. You kind of think, why is he so good at... And it's because, actually, it's like being watched by Lord Voldemort. I think. <laughs> he brought his dental floss with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a relief when he moved, because for the first two sets, I was thinking, is he alive? <laughs> He died a few days ago. You're doing a kind of weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> I'm sure he's a nice man, but... He's lovely. And the C on his cap stands for charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did the other Brits do at Wimbledon? Great. Sue yeah. Barker kept her job. She did. She <laughs> <laughs> didn't go last year, but she still got it this year. There you go. They nailed it. They did indeed. Heather Watson won. They had the Watson won in the mixed doubles, yes. Gordon Reid in the men's wheelchair singles, Gordon Reid and Alfie Hewitt for the men's wheelchair doubles, Jordan Wiley for the women's wheelchair doubles, and Greg Rosetsky in the invitation men's doubles. I don't know why that would include in that one. Greg uh, Rosetsky? In... Hmm? Greg Rosetsky He's won... still going. Still going. Mm. Oh, Greg Rosetsky, Tony Blair, and Pokemon is back. What a time for the it 90s. Is... <laughs> the 90s weren't great, weren't they? Let's do it all again. No, let's not. OK, fine. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round, the point's going to Josh Hugh and Milton. <laughs> now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read out this week's topics, then we'll see what our panellists can come up with. OK, here we go. The first subject is... Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. <laughs> And there you have it. Andy Murray has won his second Wimbledon. Thank you for watching. I'm Tim Henman. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Let's see what the batsman does with this ball. He's nicked it. Give us back our ball. <laughs> well, he's really got on the end of that. He has hit that ball a long way. Long, long, long way back into the crowd. That is, that is dreadful snooker. <laughs> Rooney, Tavardi. Back to Rooney. Tavardi. No, neither of them can open that packet of sandwiches. <laughs> and the results for the Russian doping test have come out. I must say, those are some good drugs. <laughs> so lovely to see Quidditch finally in the Olympics. Look at all the proud, proud virgins. <laughs> Eugenie Bouchard hits the backhand. That is a fantastic shot. Well done, the cameraman. Low angle, perfect view of her knickers. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So you join us here for the opening ceremony of Rio 2016 and the stadium is rocking, mainly because they haven't finished building it yet. <laughs> This Grand Prix has been cancelled, but I've managed to catch a wasp under this paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bullseye, and you know what that means? I won't be buying a pie from Greg's again. <laughs> McElroy takes out the driver. Uber aren't going to be happy about that. <laughs> Look at all these athletes in peak physical condition. If I could see just one of them naked, I would die happy. <laughs> <laughs> and with one lap to go, the pacemaker drops out. Where the fuck is my pacemaker? <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. <laughs> they fell back onto the bed, panting. He turned to George and said, I will be with you whatever. <laughs> Goodness, said Elizabeth Bennet, returning to the drawing room. I'd leave that for five. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled his hair and slapped him roughly. But still, Jeremy Corbyn wouldn't resign. <laughs> He opened an eye. She thought she might love him. He opened another eye. She thought she did love him. He opened another eye. She was put right off. <laughs> she looked into his eyes and said, this is not going to work out. I'm from a wealthy family and you're a donkey. <laughs> she kissed him the only way she knew how. On his penis, right on his penis. <laughs> He felt so close to her, he didn't know where he ended and she began. Being a human centipede was the worst. <laughs> they romped for hours in the long grass, stopping only for her to take her antihistamine nasal spray. <laughs> you. I love you, said Mellors, the gardener. Oak and beech are fine, but my favourite tree is you. <laughs> <laughs> As she looked at Mr Darcy with his clothes dripping wet, she thought, I wish I hadn't taken that job at the old people's home. <laughs> <laughs> what do I love about you? Your eyes, your hair, your Irish passport. <laughs> Please stop doing that, he said, their bodies glistening. I've got a long drive to Wrexham in the morning and I need to be able to sit comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> eyes. You are all eyes, Miss Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> Kim turned to Andy and said, Yes, of course I will. Andy said... Thank you for making me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round, the point's going to Josh Hugh <laughs> And that's the end of the show. Our thanks to Miles Job, Eddie Taylor and Luisa Dola. <laughs> thanks as well to Milton Jones, Hugh Dennis and Josh Willicombe. But the winner of the very important, really impressive, and we're really proud of this, uh, winner of the Mock the Week. This is one of the most special trophies currently existing. And it's the Mock the Week episode 155 winner. And there can be only one winner of this trophy. And it is, of course, Andy Murray, ladies and gentlemen. The man's a, a proper trophy. How will I... I've got it, you know, I'm going to bring it to you, Andy. I'm going to bring it to you, Andy. I'm going to bring you this trophy. I'm going to get this trophy to you, Andy. 
How am I going to get up there? No, I've got to get up there. I've got in the phone. Tennis star, yes. Oh, here, hang on, seriously. Oh, this is the way they do it. They love doing this shit. You can't stop them. Wait, oh, God, that one was close. That chair's breaking. Hang on, we'll wait. Lovely. Oh, sorry, hang on. Wait, oh, there it is. Thank you. 